Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Reacts, YouTube Video Edition. Now before we start the reaction and get to the video, I want to say something. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry that I haven't been um, making videos lately because, because of two things. One, I'm busy a lot, and two, well a couple things. I'm busy working on my stories for the Lunar Universe, which which is a thing I created. Two, um, there haven't been any new choices books yet, f well, for me to play. I know there's a lot, I know there's some out now, but I only play the ones where you can create a character of your own. So yeah. And th and three, there haven't been any re videos to react to yet. Well, this is the one of them. Oh, and I haven't. And since I've been gone, well, not making videos, I just reached 984 subscribers. I'm so close to getting a thousand. This close. So this close. I'm very excited for this. I'm hope and I'm I'm thanking I thank you guys for still subscribing and um still watch my videos. I'm really excited guys. <laughs> this may be a dream come true when I get to one thousand. And after that we get to a million. Hopefully. Hopefully we get to a million. So anyway, um with that being said, um, what else is there to do? Um, I guess we just start the video now. Anyway, today's, today we're reacting to, um, Death Bell. It's been, it's been on hiatus for a month. And it's back with a new Death Bell. Well, it's, this time, it's Beerus versus, what's it called again? Beerus vs. Sailor Galaxia. First off, I saw Dragon Ball Super. Second, I didn't... Before y'all get mad, I... Uh, because I wasn't interested in it, first off. And, um... Sorry, I thought my thing... My camera glitched. Yeah, I wasn't interested in Sailor Moon. I was thinking of watching it, but then I said, nah. So, yeah. And it doesn't matter, cause well, if either of them win, the the universe could get destroyed. They're both destroyers. Also, um, I th I was hoping it was gonna be um, Ashura from Asura's Wrath. You know, y you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, I've spoken long enough. Um, let's begin the video. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Miller Lite. So the world is a bit of a strange place right now. But luckily, I know one thing that will make it a whole lot better. Beer! More specifically, an ice-cold, delicious no. Miller Lite. Social distancing is important, but it doesn't mean you can't still share a Miller Lite with your friends over the internet. So all together, let's cheers to staying safe, keeping in touch, and to this great-tasting Miller Lite. Miller Lite, great taste with only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs. However you and your friends are enjoying Miller time this summer, you can have the original light beer delivered by going to MillerLite.com forward slash battle and find the delivery options near you. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Everything that lives must die. Everything that is created must be destroyed. So say it, these <laughs> vanguards of the Look apocalypse. Badass. But why they gotta be a golden ballerina and a purple cat? Lord <laughs> Beerus, Dragon Ball's almighty god of destruction. And Empress Galaxia, the Sailor Scout of destruction from Sailor Moon. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Beerus, 100%. Son Goku. This Super Saiyan has seen his fair share of world, no, 
universe-ending threats. But he hadn't seen anyone treat mass slaughter like a job until he met a god of destruction. Because it is their job. A god of destruction's role is to, well, destroy ancient planets and civilizations to make way for the new. Sort of like taking out the trash, just with a billion times more murder. And in the case of universe number seven, the title of destroyer was granted to Lord Beerus. A cat. Obviously, <laughs> everyone knows cats are all secretly plotting to kill everyone. Hell, God of Destruction is what my ex-wife named hers. Fun fact, while dogs have been bred as companions for thousands of years, the same only technically started for cats around 200 years ago. In comparison, they're still sort of wild animals, which makes them self-sufficient, but also standoffish. And lazy. Then Beerus may be the apotheosis of all cat dogs. When he's not effortlessly annihilating solar systems, he's napping for decades. Oh, but when he wakes up, he takes his job seriously. He's way stronger and faster than any mortal. Look at him go. That's his God of Destruction's wrath technique. He's got spheres of destruction, beams of destruction, sneezes of destruction, giant energy yarn balls of destruction. Oh, and cat aglismic orbs. Yeah. He can neutralize energy attacks from others, which is frankly just unfair. But his yeah. most awe-inspiring technique is Hakai. See, Beerus' level this. of power stems from an unearthly source. To demonstrate, allow me to introduce our brand new disposable unit for meticulous matchup investigations, aka Dummy. Hello, Mr. Wizard. How may I be exploited today? You're trying to replace me. Now, generally speaking, there are three types of key, which to be blunt is weaponizable life energy. First, there's normal key. Most people in the Dragon Ball multiverse have this. <laughs> Dangerous, but nothing too special. Gods have their own key, of course, which is way more potent, but like all key, they have a limited amount. But when you want the good stuff, <laughs> you go for destruction energy. <laughs> So much for your new sidekick, Wiz. Oh, no, there's plenty more. Hakai channels this <laughs> energy to obliterate something in an instant, erasing both body and soul from existence. The only way to resist is to match Beerus in power. And he didn't get so strong on his own. He's trained for millions of years under this guy, also named Wiz. No, Wiss. Yeah, Wiss. that's what I said. It's Wiss. He learned pressure point combat in the super secret Ultra Instinct. More a state of mind than actual transformation. Autonomous Ultra Instinct describes the ability to instantly respond to attacks without conscious thought getting in the way. Like he's on a catnip high. With Ultra Instinct, he could even take on multiple other gods of destruction at the same time. The only problem with being so friggin' powerful is that he got kinda bored. So he was hyped when he learned there was someone out there who might be a challenge for him. The Super Saiyan God. And in their fight over the fate of the Earth, they almost destroyed the whole universe. Our own observable universe is a respectable 93 billion light years across. However, the Dragon Ball universe is noticeably different, as depicted by this symbolic model. The observable universe as we know it fits within that bottom area. Then there's hell in the middle, heaven up top, a bunch of dinosaurs sprinkled in there somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. A single clash between Beerus and Goku sent ripples of energy rocketing through this entire macroverse in just seven seconds. Even with conservative calculations, these shockwaves must have been moving well over 240 quadrillion times the speed of light. Hell, the guy's quick enough to fly between galaxies in just a couple of minutes, so no surprise there. And when him and his fat cat brother Shampa got into a fight, <laughs> they almost tore apart the whole universe themselves. Now talk about a cat fight. But despite his incredible power, Beerus eventually did the one thing nobody ever expected. He showed mercy and spared Earth. Perhaps he saw a glimmer of greatness in Goku's potential, as so many have before him. Nah, he's just a sucker for tasty food. Happy to see you're finally realizing the full terror of Beerus the Destroyer. The That's galaxy, what happened in the movie. The solar system, in the, the show, planet, he just fell asleep. Each is an essential piece in the ever-shifting whirlwind of the cosmos. That's why they all have their own super protector. Fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight. They are song. the classic magical girls. The Sailor Guardians are warriors entrusted with magnificent powers. It's the Sailor Guardian's job to protect their world from alien threats. You may know one of them, Sailor Moon. Real name, Usagi Tsukino. Or Serena, or Bunny, depending on which dub you watched. So are they Bunny. like space Popeyes who sell cookies? Uh, what? Sailor Scouts! 
Duh, whiz. They're not sailors, they're sailor guardians or sailor soldiers. The term sailor scout comes from the original English dub. Oh yeah, the dick dub. Look out, <laughs> kid, there's a giant dick outside your window. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you are. Anyway, everything in the universe possesses a form of crystallized life force called a star seed. Each guardian is powered by a special star seed which embodies their own planet, a sailor crystal. These give them superhuman powers. They can fly, do magic, shapeshift, heal fast, and are basically immortal. Some of them are even trained by the most dangerous creatures in the world. Yes. After many adventures, Sailor Moon would eventually find herself face to face with her greatest foe, a cold-hearted empress of evil. She was just a nameless lady stuck on some random trashy planet. It was so bad there, she basically gave up on life. Well, until she got her hands on the Sapphire Crystal. The Sapphire Crystal is exponentially powerful, providing unlimited potential that matched her own newly unlimited ego. With all this power amongst the garbage around her, one purpose came to mind. Destroy everything. So into the universe she went in search of a new home fit for a goddess, the soldier of destruction, Sailor Galaxia. Be it the power or her own mind, Galaxia was cursed with unparalleled vanity, so cosmic in scale that she could not be satisfied until the whole universe bowed before her, or else. Just like my ex-wife, if she appeared on the horizon, you'd be totally screwed. Galaxia or your ex-wife? Yes. Galaxia can make explosions big enough to blot out galaxies and even match the maxed out eternal Sailor Moon in a fight. Who destroyed a whole mirror universe? With a simple gesture, Galaxia can wipe anything out of existence. Planets, people, other guardians, you name it. Plus, she's got all sorts of other magic powers. Teleporting, summoning lightning, mind controlling people by taking their star seeds. Oh, yeah, she can totally do that. And like any good anime villain, her attacks have some absolutely ridiculous names. Like the Galactica Super String. Which doesn't actually use any string. Galactica Crunch. I think I had a bowl of that this morning. And Galactica <laughs> Inflation. <laughs> what? What the hell? Whoa, how did that get there? It's not what you think. Research. You come across a lot of stuff in research. Wiz, I'm glad to know exactly what kind of guy I'm working with. Ahem, uh, so Galaxia carved through the universe at an incredible pace, building her own widespread empire. She was so friggin' terrifying that some people would murder their own Sailor Scout as a sacrificial offering just to save themselves. Man, magical girls are metal as hell. But Galaxia's wow. destructive path wasn't as reckless as it may seem. Through her travels, she learned of a looming threat to the universe, a primordial entity and source of all evil. And so she vowed to destroy chaos. Yeah, that happens if you watch too much Marie Kondo. Oh. But to maintain balance, she also sought to destroy the opposite of chaos, the embodiment of love and goodness, which is apparently Sailor Moon. This is where different stories get a bit wonky. Right. In the anime, Galaxia was a heroic warrior who absorbed chaos to keep it under control, but chaos flipped the script and took her body instead. However, this did not happen in the original manga. Galaxia's warpath led her to Earth, and she annihilated all the favorite Sailor Scouts. Every. Single. One. Except Sailor Moon. They had to have their epic battle. And Moon is a powerhouse. She once lit up the entire universe with a single attack. This light reached the edge of the universe in four seconds, putting it at 360 quadrillion times light speed. Galaxia was tough enough to survive the grip of chaos itself. And with her crystal, she never has to worry about running out of energy in a fight. This chick's basically unkillable. Well, the intense forces of chaos almost ended her life until she was saved by Sailor Moon. And guess what? Apparently, this caused Galaxia to question her resolve and see Meatball Head here in a new light. Like, Why? hey, maybe this lovey-dovey goodness stuff ain't so bad. And then BAM! Her crystal exploded from positivity overload and she died. Neither Galaxia nor the Sapphire Crystal had ever known this feeling. Ironically, or perhaps befittingly, the weakness of destruction itself was love. Wiz, she was literally killed by kindness. Who wrote this? Nuance Boomstick. Regardless, the power Galaxia wields is astonishing. Beneath the heel of her boot, any planet, galaxy, or universe is utterly doomed. For this body belongs to Sailor Galaxia, the most powerful guardian in the galaxy. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. 
But first, I need to rock out with some Raycon earbuds. This episode Was that is a stage sponsored play? by Raycon. <laughs> Whether you're working from home or in a secret lab like us, you want what you're listening to to be what you want to listen to. Yeah, trust me, you definitely don't want your noisy lab partner's science podcast bleeding into your sweet jam sesh because you're using the junk headphones. But before you go dropping hundreds of dollars to block out the incessant rock ballads of your inconsiderate office mates, you need to check out the wireless <laughs> earbuds from Raycon. Not only do these bad boys make you look like some sort of secret agent, they sound friggin' awesome! Not to mention their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds are their best pair yet, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise-isolating fit. Plus, they're so dang comfortable you can wear them all day, from working out, rocking out, and whatever the conference call equivalent to rocking out is. Plus, they don't have any ridiculous dangling wires and come in a compact charging case. And they're IPX4 water resistant, which Wiz told me is good. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash deathbattle. That's buyraycon.com slash deathbattle for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash deathbattle. So grab one for yourself, because right now it's time for a death battle! Here we go. <laughs> It's unwise to vaporize a god's dessert. <laughs> Witness my infinite power! Uh. So you have chosen death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a finger? Ridiculous! Interesting. Apparently, I've found a worthy foe. Uh -huh. huh, the hard way it is, then. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> There, stranger. Welcome. What? Kneel for me. Hello there, stranger. Welcome. <laughs> Just strip the planet. And now there's a black hole. Now 
I am the impossible! <laughs> that was for my ice cream. <laughs> Holy crap! This fight was so intense! I'm gonna get a beer for us! Wait... Beer? Us? Whiskey? Champagne? Oh my god! All the cats are named after booze! I like him now. <laughs> this was a fairly balanced matchup. Why is Galaxia's he power set was certainly drinks. enough to keep up with Beerus. Especially since she has so many more versatile techniques than him. Not to mention her crystal provided unlimited energy while Beerus had a vast but still finite pool of key. But that's about where it all starts tilting the other way. Based on how fast their galaxy spanning attacks were, Galaxia did have a slight edge in attack speed. But Beerus' ultra instinct made up for it. Plus, he had expert martial arts training. Well, Galaxia had none of that. Speed alone wasn't winning this fight. Also, Beerus' skill set countered many of her own attacks. His energy nullification, for example, let him blast through plenty of her offensive options. But to really lock down Beerus' superiority in all things destruction, how about we compare their power output? Both of them use attacks that span their whole universe in seconds. But remember, the Dragon Ball universe is much bigger than our own. Right, this universe is at least nine times bigger than ours, and Beerus almost destroyed it all. For the most part, the universe in Sailor Moon is very much based on our own. And the same should be said for Nehalenia's mirror universe Usagi destroyed. So, pretty clear cut? That means Beerus is nine times stronger than Galaxia? Well, not exactly. They both are likely much stronger. Galaxia matched Endgame Eternal Sailor Moon in battle, who could destroy eight of her animamate minions at once. Did you say animorphs? Long story no. short, a single animamate could match a Sailor Guardian equal in power to Sailor Moon when she destroyed that mirror universe. While this is admittedly a very highball estimate, defeating eight anima mates at once could logically translate to possessing eight times that power. Since Galaxia could match her in combat, this potentially puts Galaxia's output level much closer to Beerus and Goku's clash. But the shockwave happened when Goku had only just gone Super Saiyan God for the first time. Beerus claimed he was going all out with 100% of his power, but like all cats, he was lying. Telling Goku that you were using 100% of your power was a very clever tactic to draw out his full strength, even though it wasn't true. Even after Goku later achieved Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken, a form many, many times more powerful than his first go at being a redhead, Beerus was still considered his superior. Simply put, even if we highball Galaxia and lowball Beerus, the God of Destruction still possessed a greater amount of power, both in offense and defense, as they are identical when it comes to Dragon Ball Key. Isn't that right, dummy? Sailor Galaxia may have had a more versatile arsenal, but Lord Beerus had the strength, durability, and technique needed to overpower her. But you already said all that. So what's the point? Like my existence. You could say she got caught in a galaxy-sized catastrophe. Can I blow him up this time? I look forward to it. The winner what? is Lord Beerus. <laughs> Death Battle is back with 10 episodes to wrap up this year. Stay tuned and check out the music linked in the description below. No! Zuko and Shoto? <laughs> like I said when the battle started, it doesn't matter because we're both going to lose anyway because both of them have the power to wipe out entire universes or galaxies or planets or anything. But, alright, I don't want to talk about it that much, right? I want to talk about um, Zuko versus Todoroki. First off, this is a disadvantage <laughs> because, yes, they both have fire powers, but Todoroki has ice powers too he's half he, he has ice and fire both halves uh, I just I think it's a disadvantage because because of that and I don't know who to pick because and and not to mention that Zuko doesn't I know firebenders in Avatar can shoot lightning but Zuko can only redirect lightning so that's a disadvantage also I just think I think of that but 
when the battle gets here, it'll probably explain more. But, but seriously, it it just it just feels like a disadvantage. And there are ten episodes left for this year of Death Battle. <laughs> Excuse me. Can't wait. Hopefully, hopefully I pick one. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, when they showed the trailer for Death Battle, um, I think I saw Winter Soldier. Now, I think there has to be someone else. I mean, everyone's saying it's Red Hood or it's either Red Hood or someone else. Either way. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys get this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. And if you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.